And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast. It's Yo, what Wednesday. Is that? What, what's that over there, bro? Oh, looks like a bunch of plaques, oh, by the shoot, way. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We got five of them bitches. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, guys. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, All right. We are back. We're back, guys. What's up? Welcome to the Fresh Shit Podcast, man. It's Womanizer Wednesday. First and foremost, I want to give you guys all down to Marco. W's because Marco, we wouldn't Marco. be where we're at right now. As you guys can see behind me, I hung up a couple of uh, trophies, five plaques to be exact, guys. We got the million subscriber plaque in the middle with Fresh and Fit. We got the uh, Fresh and Fit um, original channel, right? 100K, yep. Fresh Fit Clips. Then we got Fresh Print CEO, and we got the Feta channel as well. Yes, all of sir. those channels are over 100,000 subscribers. Thanks, Thanks to you for guys and your fucking support, man. We wouldn't be here without you guys. You know, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not thankful for where we're at. This is like the Grammys for like YouTubers. Yeah, there absolutely, man. So the next goal, guys, because we're never satisfied, right, is we want to get 1 million, million on fresh and fit clips. clips. Guys, please do me a favor. Take a second. Go subscribe to our other YouTube channels called Fresh and Fit Clips, man. 76% of the people that watch that channel are not subscribed, man. So if we can get another gold plaque so we can flex on the haters, we would really appreciate it because, you know, I, I went on a little bit of a rant last week on Rumble <laughs> after we got our uh, plaque. And uh, people have been kicking us while we were down, talking shit, blah, blah, blah. But we're up now, man. And I want to make sure that we stay up and we continue to put our fucking foot on these guys' necks, man. Um, and I've always seen people copied our style, copied facts. our content, but they can't create what we've created here. So, man, we put in the work, man. We're here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, we show up late. We're always here, though. Yeah. They try to duplicate, but they can't replicate. And that's the difference, guys. You ain't going to get another Myron Gaines. You're not going to get another Freshman CEO. You're not going to get us debating these bimbos and giving the fucking crazy sauce that we give. And at the end of the day, we're out here in the field. We're Thanks. dudes dating these chicks, dealing with them, and giving y'all the sauce about how the world really works when it comes to dating in the modern-day society. And we're in Miami, guys. We're in the Olympics of this shit. So. And we got a fire team, too, man. We got Chris in the back. Yep. We got Mo as well. So, I mean, shoot, the team yeah. is strong, man. So every time I see someone trying to copy our sauce, I'm like, fantastic. This is I, I love it, but I'm going to continue to show you guys why we're superior to all you other assholes, okay? <laughs> and we will continue to make content that is better than all of our competitors because, yo, at the end of the day, I'm a competitor, and I'm not going to lose to nobody. I've always said it before. I said it before i'll say it again you will not win because we will not lose yep so um you know we're going to continue to collect more plaques a lot of you guys thought oh they're going to have one million to fall off fuck out of here we're still, still here. here we ain't going nowhere and the content's going to get better first working on some guests behind the scenes for you guys yep. we're making things happen man so uh yeah so that's first and foremost also rumble.com slash fresh fit because who knows how much longer we'll be on the internet guys Hopefully. we might get kicked off at any time at this longer, point but yeah yeah seriously. uh <laughs> <laughs> you never know yeah rumble.com slash fresh fit guys and then also check us out on fresh fit locals.com fresh has been really diligent about putting content on there yeah. as far as behind the scenes for the after hours it's funny, I got dates, all that stuff. from posting some content man yeah i heard uh for locals go ahead chris i'm a massage no yeah so um <laughs> I see those late night. You know it's funny, bro. Like, like, like allegedly, this girl signed up for locals, and I was like, <laughs> oh man, I was like, you know, as a man of God, you know, I don't do these, I don't do these things. You know? I don't make content. I go home. Yeah, and I'm a good guy. She saw that. God damn! But I explained to her, you know, it's just content. Wait, so she signed up on locals and saw? Yes, herself? I watched all the private videos, bro. Oh, what you put up there that had her so tight? Don't worry about it. Anyhow, um, so get your guys like I don't got a fucking. I, I could go look right now. <laughs> no, the chat gotta, gotta, gotta go find out. Oh, uh, okay. But, all right. but overall, man, it's a, it's a great <laughs> platform. I can go live randomly wherever we're at. Show you guys behind the scenes, and your girls be on their lip, man. So that's what it is. 
All right. Fantastic. Fresh is putting all of his relationships in peril for you guys. Yeah, for real, bro. Uh, <laughs> but it is what it is, man. Fuck these hoes. All right, guys. Check us out on Megaphone as well, guys. If you guys want to get the best parts of the show. Well, not the best parts of the show. Excuse me. If you guys want to listen to us on audio only, we are on Megaphone. We got Fresh Fit and Fresh Fit After Hours. So check us out over there. Yep. Also, d- chat with members of Discord, guys, on Fresh uh, Discord.gg slash Fresh and Fit. And they get the merch at FreshFitPodcast.com. We're going to put new designs, I promise. I know I've been saying this for a while, guys, but uh, I'm going to put n- new designs for the year. we got the Chris is a Bum line coming. we probably got some other ones about making a sandwich and sustenance, thanks to that you know Cheyenne interview on Standout <laughs> TV. A lot of y'all like that. That was funny. So we got some funny concepts coming. I want to release them all at once for you guys versus releasing them one at a time because that'd be really lame. And then uh, as we discussed before, guys, Fresh If It Clips, guys, please go subscribe to that YouTube channel. One minute on the way. And then Fresh, go ahead. Hey, guys, vlog channel is up. Um, we do streams as well, uh, blind dates. Um, as well as double dates, as well as like you know behind the scenes. And guys, um, thank you so much for 100k, 200k on the way. Let's go, bam. Um, and guys, check me out on Fedit uh, 1811. As you guys know, I break down criminal cases on that one. Uh, right now, I put up a uh, stream on the Tory Lanes versus Meg Thee Stallion. Huge. They just wrapped up their arguments today. Um, pretty much everything I predicted came true. I told y'all from the beginning that it was Megan and Kelsey fighting before. I told you guys this months ago. Came out in the trial. That's what happened, right? Yep. That's one W. Then I told y'all before that Meg lied to the police, said that she ste- you know, stepped on glass or whatever. That's what happened, right? And then also, I told you guys that Tory Lanez was definitely not going to take the stand. And what? guess what? He didn't, he didn't take the stand. So, And then I also predicted, well, you guys have to go see it out. Check it out on Fed1811. I did a whole stream on it. I put timestamps in there that are extremely detailed that cover everything from the witness testimony to describing what opening arguments are versus what Brady and Giglio is. All these things that a lot of these other bloggers don't know about because they've never been in a courtroom and actually done a case. Uh, I break it down with my friend Andrew Esquire. So you guys get a former federal agent and you get a lawyer. It's the most thorough breakdown on the case on the fucking internet. And that's a fact. That no, one, no one even comes close. And then the other thing I want to say is I'm dropped in B, dropping the BTK serial killer case Tomorrow for y'all at 7 p.m. You guys have been asking about it. This guy terrorized Wichita, Kansas from 1974 all the way up until 2005. Uh, you know, binding chicks and torturing them and doing all this other crazy shit. And they ended up catching him Damn. through his daughter's DNA. Crazy shit. Wow. But I do that breakdown tomorrow for you guys. You guys have been asking about that one for a while. So I don't want no more hmm. serial killer complaints. I've done all of them. I've done all the top ones. I've done John Wayne Gacy. I did uh, um, Jeffrey Dahmer. I did Ted Bundy. BTK. Night Stalker. Every Netflix special serial killer, I've done them, and I've, I've broke it down in meticulous detail uh, as far as like going over crime scenes, uh, photos, all that stuff, guys. So if you like that true crime crap, check it out on Fedit 1811. Lieutenant Meg lied? No way! <laughs> what? Uh, Meg won't lie. Believe all women. Uh, believe all believe women. Believe all women, women. Come on, man. God damn it. Yo, so when do we know the final like uh, choice of the jury? Uh, they're going to start del- deliberating either tomorrow or Friday. And here's the thing. Christmas is this weekend, and I, I guarantee you they're going to come back with a verdict before the weekend. That's dope. Free Tory, man. Yeah, I, I t- dude, there, there's no... If he gets found guilty, I would be shocked. That's my stuff. I would literally be shocked. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's it's funny because they're trying to find... Put cases on him that, like, uh, no, charges on him that weren't there from the before. Wit- one of the witnesses... Yeah. Te- you know what they said? One of the witnesses testified yesterday saying the first shot was shot by a woman. It was it was the, the guy in his house, right? Yep. Yeah, Sean Kelly, which I predicted he was going to be a witness too. By the way, I forgot to mention that I predicted he was going to be the, the the witness. And what did he do? He came in and he testified. Yeah, imagine you had a front row seat to see the whole thing behind the scenes. I mean, yeah, it's funny because in this scenario here, bro, if we didn't have people backing up Tory, he'd be in jail right now or deported because of Meg's lies. Yeah, that's wild, bro. Yep. Amber Heard, Courtney Clenny, too. The chick that stabbed her boyfriend. I broke yeah. that. I talked to Andrew about that one. He's going to do a full breakdown. She's probably going to get found guilty, too. And y'all want to live with a girl? She, <laughs> Dude, the average guy, bro? Yo, y'all need to do it, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know what she told the fucking prosecutors? What? She said, uh, she said she threw the knife at him, and that's how he died originally. And then they're like, well, that's actually impossible because the force at which the, the knife hit him and the accuracy is indicative of someone stabbing him directly. And then she was like, uh... Okay, yeah, I stabbed him, but like it was in self defense. So she changed her story twice. You know what I mean? And these girls, bro. Yeah, she was saying that she, it was self defense and all this other shit. But like, bro, like the, it was scientifically impossible for her to throw the knife and for it to hit him right there in that area and him bleed out with that force. Like it was 100% a stab. So, bro, uh, yeah. bro, it, this believe all women shit is coming to an end, hopefully soon. Bro, it's scary, bro. It's crazy, right? It's literally crazy. <sighs> and when y'all niggas gonna go away for up, man? <laughs> Crazy, bro. Someone's gonna go away for up, bro. Like, like nothing happened. Yep. I guarantee you. Probably, probably, man. And and they didn't give her bond either because she was a flight risk. She transferred a million dollars to her dad 
for holding. And uh, she wanted to try to get Bond, and they were like, nah, she's a flight risk. Because she was in Hawaii when they arrested her. The marshals had to go get her in Hawaii. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she was, she was here in hotels just chilling. Yeah. At bars and yeah, stuff. She was well, here trying to chill, but yeah. people but called her out. It, it's wild, bro. And if, and if there wasn't an enormous amount of pressure from the family to like go after her, they, they probably might have not conducted a murder investigation in the first place. I'm just curious to know how many guys have been through similar scenarios that are still alive and has to deal with the issues of having to deal with her lying on them all the way. Like, think about it. Tori got money. He can fight a kid, get a lawyer. Yeah. The average guy yeah. can't do that shit. Facts. She can say, oh, he hit Big my facts. kids and he do that, whatever. You're screwed, bro. What Tori hi hired his own DNA people for that case. Yeah. You know? So, you know, the average person it can't can't fight that shit. You know what I mean? So it, it, it really sucks because the criminal justice system a lot of times when you're a man and you're being accused by a, by a woman, they're going to assume that you are guilty until proven innocent versus innocent until proven guilty, which is what it should be. Hey, man, you want to avoid this? Get some money. Yeah, facts. Bro. <laughs> At least. Facts. So uh, good luck with uh, Frame if you're married. She can throw you out of the house <laughs> whenever she likes and call Pookie around for a smash and raise your kid. That's a fact for marriage cause divorce. Colin Abney goes, Myron, would you ever move slash recommend to living in Saudi Arabia or the UAE? Colin Abney. Uh, I've thought about going to the Middle East after, bro. Uh, we're going to go to uh, UAE here probably sometime early next year. So I will give you guys a final answer on it. But yeah, I mean, yeah. there's I doubt that I'm going to stay in the in the U.S. for the like for the remainder of my life. Homosexual goes, they found Moe's bite mark today on baby cow's neck. What the okay. fuck? Okay. Ugly Myron. Wee Willie Wink Wonky Winky says, fresh loves big Moe's coconuts. Right. That's false. Okay. FNF fans be treating like button like fire. It's not going to burn your finger, stupid. Get the likes up, please. A shout out to you, Anthony Attack. Shout out, Anthony. Uh, let's go, boys. You never disappoint. Gods, we up. Okay. Now we're humans, bro. Uh, congrats on all the plaques. Love y'all, F and F. Yeah, appreciate yes, that, Morgan. And then you guys help me. Thanks, man. Working minimum seventy hours a week in the gym as speaking, uh, curving, dumb women, city boys. We up facts from MB. MB. Uh, grind never stops. Two mils the next mountain to climb. Keep up the work, guys. Absolutely, Tyree. Tyree. Uh, Marin, what's your opinion on appetite suppression suppressants for weight loss? Uh, Jay Ray, um, just eat better, bro. You don't need to necessarily suppress your appetite. You don't want to do that. You just want to eat more uh lower calorie food and guess what when you eat lower calorie food you can eat more more of it so that you don't necessarily have to try to suppress your appetite just control what you eat uh, pimps up, hold love down. the content and knowledge to you uh you keep dropping thank you pimps ho pimps up hose down <laughs> okay uh michael meanstroke dollar thank you uh exploit goes uh 10 bucks appreciate that uh w ding and that's from uh armaged osman and then yo mo how much you weigh and how many languages are you fluent in please include don't include spanish and that's the from Javi Javi nuts, nuts. Um, you know, my last one was 418. That's 82 pounds down. Also 12 pants sizes down. But like I said, I'm just ordering new pants. So the number might be a little different next when those pants come in and fluent besides Spanish, of course, English and Haitian Creole. All right. Cool. Yo, you know, French, bro? No, I actually don't know French. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. Man just closed on a house, and as soon as Penn hit the paper, dang, thing fell apart like a big girl wearing a waist trainer. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, Z. Chris and Big Mo's plaques are coming. All right. There you uh, go. Inuyasha goes, here are the official ratings for tonight's uh, for today's panel. The man on the left, 10 out of 10. The man on the right, 10 out of 10. Keeps, keep, uh, kings keep up the work. Oh, Appreciate okay. that. <laughs> uh, and then Zeus, last one here. Best friend of mine, been with his wife for seven years now. She's always been mad disrespectful from the jump, but now he's married with a kid. What's his move? They live together and bicker full time. That's the worst, bro. You can't save him, bro. Seeing your friend with yeah. a girl you know is bad for him, bro. You can't do shit. It's the worst feeling ever, bro. It's like, yo, bro, let me save you. Uh, Nah, bro, I'm good. That's an L, bro. And then when they find us too late, you lost your friend, bro. Yep. It's sad, bro. Yep, it's a, it's an L. Uh, Renner hit the wall and finally realized that she was uh, it was a mistake getting a high count, yet she still didn't take full accountability and tried to blame the men. Bro, we yeah. did a show with her back with Our academics, boys. right? Uh -huh. And she was on camera for the most part, not agreeing, but she agreed behind the scenes after yeah, the fact. Yeah. So it was like, bro, like, she knows what the time it is, bro. Yeah. And then I got all these stupid motherfuckers saying, I ran her owned you guys. And it's like, no, she didn't. Did you watch the full podcast? She ended up agreeing what we're saying. And the thing is, is that what I said before is finally starting to come to fruition for her. Like she's realizing like, oh shit, like I'm getting older. I have a kid. I can't compete with the women that are younger and more hotter on Instagram nowadays. Fuck. What am I going to do? And you wrote a book. Telling about your sex exploits. Of course, niggas gonna be like, yo, I don't want to be in your book. Yeah. I'm gonna curve you. Yeah. They're gonna like, bro, Brittany Renner has put herself in the sex only category for a majority of guys. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Yeah. Like, there's consequences to your actions. Fresh, can I get a think about this right? Think about this, right? <laughs> 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 bro. 
Think about this, bro. Uh, Michael Mean Stroke, shout out to the moderators. Cool. The brain, one dollar. Okay. Ritzy goes, Megan the Scion has two L's in her name for a reason. Just an L of a woman all around. Free, free Tory. Tory. Facts. That is an L, bro. Uh, make sure to check out Big Mo's new song, uh, Amor Nuantiti. Amor Nuantiti. Okay. <laughs> it comes out tomorrow at 11 p.m. CST. with Central Standard Time. So 10 p.m. tomorrow. Cool. And then we got the brain, 10 bucks. I appreciate that. Shout out to the brain. Shout out to all y'all, man. Yo, guys, so we got 4,000 plus y'all right now in here between all the platforms. So. <laughs> Like the video, like the video subscribe to the channel, okay? And then subscribe to Fresh and Fit Clips, guys. It's our other YouTube channel. Let's get that bad boy to a million so I can hang up one more plaque on here so I can flex on the haters. You guys will get another rant <laughs> where I uh, finally break silence on some of our haters once we hit the other milli. But today's topic, Fresh, you want to uh, hit it? You came up with this topic. So, guys, this is a video going around viral, of course, where a woman and a man are dating each other, boyfriend, girlfriend, and the girl says in a nutshell, well... This is my guy, but as me being the woman in charge, if I want to wear what I want to wear, he can't tell me shit. And it's like, we do after our shows with the girls. We saw the time on the show. Look, man, if you care about your man, have respect for your man, you're not going to wear things to make him look or feel embarrassed when you go outside. And as a result, you want to protect your purity because that's your man. But this girl has no regard for her man. As you can see in this video we're about to show you guys, she blatantly disrespects him in public. And as well, he agrees with her because he's a, S I M G. I can't say the P because uh, Twitter. I'm oh, sorry, Twitter. Okay. But the point is, like, this is embarrassing, guys. Very embarrassing. So right. here it is by Rose Wanto News. Uh, Internet clowns, be a boyfriend for letting go a GF wear whatever she wants. Is this a secure relationship? We're about to find out. So here we go. I cannot understand that your girl is going to be wearing whatever the fuck she wants. You are the problem, not her. She her own woman. You know what I mean? She can do whatever she, whatever she wants. Let's say she has on the hoochie shorts and her cheeks are hanging out. Can we go back real quick? Guys, I want you to look at his body language and look at how he's responding to this and tell me if not if he's in frame or not. Because to me personally, I think he's not in frame, but just how he sounds is it's not masculine, bro. It's not even like being a man. So let's let's just hear it out real quick. I cannot understand that your girl is gonna be wearing whatever the fuck she wants. You are the problem, not her. She her own woman. You know what I mean? She can do whatever she whatever she wants. Let's say she has on the hoochie shorts and her cheeks are hanging out, and you told her to change. Would that be a problem? That would it would never it happen. Would, it wouldn't be. If she's comfortable in it, then I'm comfortable. You know what I mean? Man, if you guys have a problem with your girl dressing in hoochie shorts and a short tank top, that's a personal problem. If you got a problem with it, you got trust issues. I'm sorry. Is it is yours? Sorry, man. If you cannot. Next slide. So some people felt the way how I felt and commented as well on the post. Joe says, "Bro is so deep in the friend zone." JC says, "If you look at Simp in the dictionary, there's a picture of him." Austin says, "She runs a relationship, no questions." M. Larry says, "She hundred percent gonna leave him." The next slide again. Yep. We got here as well. Uh, TD says, "You know he's a yes, ma'am type of guy. Poor guy. What to know what a simp uh, imp is." Literally him. Bro scared. Do so scared to say the truth. Streets calling. So chat, you tell me what you think about this, but I think personally, um, this guy's not in the frame he should be in. And his girl runs things off rip. And even on the show, girls will, will explain to us about their man. It's like, bro, we could tell off rip that the man is not in charge. So what do you think, Myron, about this video? Man. Guys. And, and I want to say this, too, because what that girl just said is an embodiment about modern day women in general. A lot of girls feel as though I should be able to dress and behave however I like with zero consequence. And not only that, but I want to be able to dress and behave however I like and still be able to command the boyfriend at home and get that boyfriend energy. Right. While I don't necessarily give girlfriend energy and whether women want to accept it or not, men don't want their girl dressed like a slut out in public under the, without their uh, without under um without their authority yeah. okay and i can tell just from the way this woman speaks i've always said it i've said it and i'll say it before i've said it before and i'll say it again the way a woman behaves speaks and acts is a direct representation of her man's masculinity the fact that she's saying you have trust issues or you're insecure or i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that tells you right then and there that she doesn't respect her man and here's the other thing too guys if a girl truly loves and admires and respects you, she will let you control her sexuality. I'm going to say that one more time for you guys so you guys understand this shit. If a girl truly 
loves, admires, and respects you. Okay? Hell, she doesn't even have to fucking love you. If she respects you and wants something serious with you, she will let you control her sexuality. Because women know deep down the way they dress, the way they act, it's their greatest superpower. And if they're with a guy that they actually like and want to keep, they know that they have to suppress that shit to garner that man's respect. Yeah. Okay? Now, when a girl dresses provocatively out in public, what she's effectively saying is... I have this simp right here doing my bidding. He's my boyfriend. I get what I want from him. I get that security. I get that emotional support, et cetera. However, I want to be able to double dip, okay, and still show my sexuality. So if I'm able to garner attention and or resources from a superior man, that door is still open. This is the thing I want you guys to understand. Women have a dualistic mating strategy, okay? They want a guy that is able to, you know, have parental investment. Shout out to Roll Tomasi. We've talked about this a lot of times at a nauseum, but I'm going to sum it up for you guys. If you guys want more detail, go ahead and read the rational mail. Okay. But I'm going to... My Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to summarize it for y'all. Yeah, let's kill the Twitch stream yeah. and Twitter and everything else before so, I break we, this down for we, y'all. We, we could just say the S word. Yeah, we're going to kill Twitch. Come on over to YouTube right now, guys. Come on over to YouTube so I can talk about this shit. So you guys understand why this is like unacceptable behavior. All right? <sighs> it's, this is sad, man. Yeah, it's it's wild. It's wild. And the crazy part is, is that there's a lot of guys that are in this situation like this guy. Yeah. Like, we're showing you guys this clip because there's literally millions upon millions of dudes right now that do the same exact shit as this fucking guy. You think Myron's girl, Andrew's girl, my girl, Justin Waller's girl is going to act like that, especially in public, and wear whatever she wants? Bro, that's, that's an L. Yeah, that's not your girl. She, you are basically she's the one in charge. You're following her, crazy. Yeah. So now here, here, this is how it goes, guys. You got so girls, they got two different strategies, right? They want to be able to get a guy that is a safe bet that can give them that parental investment, right? That that's like you know, good provider, nice, you know, you know, comforting, all this other shit. But they also want a guy that's attractive and keeps them on their toes, etc. The problem is this: very few guys are able to do both. So what girls end up doing a lot of times is. They'll go ahead and sometimes consolidate on that fucking loser pussy soft guy because he makes them feel comfortable. He gives them that assuredness. He allows them to kind of act how they want. They're comfortable with him. However, they don't fucking respect him. Yeah. So they go ahead and, you know, be openly from a, they, they're open sexually, right? With the way they dress, the way they go out, etc., so that they can go ahead and garner the attention from a more attractive guy, right? People I would say maybe a more alpha, more dominant type guy. And they'll go ahead and give sexual access to that guy while simultaneously siphoning off attention from the other guy and getting that provider type attention or getting that provider type vibe and this is your job as a man your job as a man is to make sure that you get the best out of your girl and you protect her from herself and you protect her sexuality from the fuckery okay guys because if you leave a woman to her own devices they're attention whores they're going to want guys to go ahead and give them attention all this other shit the only thing you can do as a man is have your masculinity on point and be the best version of yourself so she only wants to show that sexuality to you but when you're a guy like this where you don't have a spine, you let her do whatever the fuck she wants, guess what happens? She loses respect for you, goes out there, tries to get another guy that's more alpha than you, right? That's more assertive, more dominant than you, has sex with that guy, and then comes back to your dumbass because you're the safe bet. Never be the fucking safe bet as a man. You must be the only bet as a man. A lot of you motherfuckers are okay with being second place, with being a safety net. No. Fuck that shit. We are not safety nets out here. We are the only fucking net. Bitch, if it's not my way, you get the fuck out of here. There is no way. Th th that's how it's got to be. We don't negotiate with terrorists. And a lot of the times, if you let a girl lead you, she will be a terrorist because she's going to terrorize your fucking life. She's going to be a hoe. She's going to be out dancing and doing all this other shit. She's going to be on yachts. She'll be around celebrities. And then she's going to tell your dumbass, oh, why are you acting so insecure? He's just a friend. Why are you acting like this? And she's doing all this thattery behind your scenes. You guys know how many bitches have come on this show, told us straight to our face, I have a boyfriend that go fuck somebody that we know? <laughs> you know how many times that shit has happened? I'm not trying to put none of these girls on blast, but bro. Girls come on this show and say, I got a boyfriend. And then they'll say all this fucking fuck shit, right? And I'll look her in the eye and be like, you don't respect your man. I know you don't, but by the way you behave. And what do I find out? Her boyfriend's a cuck. She's fucking another guy. She married him for papers. Any of this other shit. And I never fucking mess with that shit because a woman is a mirror image of her man. When I see a bitch behave a certain way, I know her man's a pussy. I don't even have to go any further. He's a loser and he's fucking up in some way. Your job. OK, is to make sure that when your girl goes out there, that mirror is clean. And we know we have a good representation of who the fuck that guy is dressing uh, traditionally, not talking to other guys, not being an attention whore. Girls 
do overt things when they're trying to actually get a guy. They do shit so they, they don't want to look like a hoe or embarrass themselves. And more importantly, they're mad because when you're a fucking somebody and you have something about you that girls actually like, they don't want to lose that. They're scared to lose that. Yeah. And a lot of you guys, the problem is that girls are not scared to lose you. So they behave however the fuck they want. I tell you all this shit all the time. Women need to feel un comfortable to, for you to get the best treatment they have to feel uncomfortable in the relationship they have to know yo if you fuck up you're done okay this is the way it goes you want to work at this prestigious law firm you got to be on fucking point or else someone else could be promoted and you lose your position and that's how it's got to be women treat men they women treat you the best when they know that they're replaceable when you have other girls in line that's when they get in line and the, when you do dumb shit like this you let her dress however she wants let her market herself to other men while she's simultaneously in a relationship with you fuck out of here a lot of you fucking losers let girls double dip and last time i checked i'm not guacamole don't let these bitches <laughs> double dip man it's fucking crazy that you guys let this shit happen bars you want to be in a relationship with me Cool. You commit to me, bitch. I don't have to necessarily commit to you the same way because I'm a man. You're a woman. It's hard for me to get sex. It's easy for you to get sex. For me to get sex, I have to bring value. For you to get sex, you lose value. You got to protect your shit. So if a girl comes into a relationship and wants to do whole shit like she's single, let her be single. Don't give her that relationship. Fuck out of here. A lot of you guys, oh, oh I, need, I need to get sex so bad. I'm going to commit to this whore and make her feel special, but she's going to continue to continue to have her whore activity so I can look like I need to get sexual access. Fuck that shit, man. I would rather whack off than be with a fucking bitch that disrespects me, and I mean that shit 1,000%, because when you're with a girl that doesn't respect you, I promise you, she's going to make your life miserable women are fucking raging bitches when they have the leverage and they know that they're better than you they can replace you they're terrible people they're gonna embarrass you be loud be obnoxious masculine assertive dominant try to boss you around fuck out of here and a lot of you fucking losers watching this show right now you're probably with some bitch that don't respect you right now and you're trying to figure out damn man should i leave this girl if you are even thinking that you need to leave her i mean we got a prime example mike the stallion yeah <laughs> what the fuck is going on prime man? example bro yo okay so just that's your point as well so Here's an example. Your girl, right? And this is very important because you can't buy respect. Respect comes with her wanting to be with you long-term or see you as an option, a viable option. So you have a girl, right? She's your girl. Well, you claim her as your girl. And she says to you, you know what, babe? Tonight I'm going to, with my girls to a club. I'm wearing this. You're like, in your head, you're like, damn. You know what, babe? I don't want you to wear that. Babe, I just bought it. Relax. It's not that serious. Like, you're being insecure. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, you're right, man. All right, just enjoy yourself. She goes out to club, you know, typical as well with her friends. And, you know, they're in the dance floor. They get called to the table by a promoter. Now they're at this table having fun dancing, right? And your girl's wearing a very tight, short dress, so to speak, right? So nigga's like, damn, who's that short dude over there? Now, mind you, there's no there's, there's no sign on, her, uh, sign on her saying, oh, this is uh, Jonathan's uh, girlfriend. It's just her in the club. So her wearing that, I want to say, tight dress gives her the appeal that most guys want to be a part of. So what happens is, in this scenario, the girl's at a table with her friends, of course. She's doing nothing crazy. But niggas are like, yo, damn. That's what it is over there. She's bad as hell. I want her at my table. So what they do is, they might bring a promoter over or bring a friend over. They pull her to their table, and now she's at, she's at their table with her friends. Now, all it takes is a little bit of liquor, maybe a little bit of weed. I don't know whatever, whatever drugs they do in the club, whatever. And she's lit. Now, because of her wearing what she was wearing, Niggas call her out. And it's funny because people say all the time, my girl's at the club. No, 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 bro. It's our girl at the club because now it's community property. Because I'm telling you by default, bro, it's a celebrity in there, a nigga with status, a nigga with enough swagger, whatever you want to call it. He can take your bitch. And if she's wearing that type of like uniform out there, she's, she's just basically telling the guy, you know what? I'm single. Come hit me up. Dead ass, bro. And it happens that way, bro, all the time. So it's not about just saying, Oh, I'm going to demand her to do, do whatever I want. It's saying, you know what? Does she deserve to be my girl, first off? Better. And then secondly, if she don't listen, bro, she's not, she's not your girl. So don't claim her as your girl. Now, have fun with it, but if you take her serious, that's on you. We're just saying, look, at the end of the day, guys, if you want a girl to be your girlfriend and be long-term with you, what is she giving to you respect-wise? And if she's not giving you at least to say, you know what? I spent my man enough to say, you know what? I'm not going to go out like that and just, just like this in public. Then... Is that good for you? No. So there's no, there's, no, there's no respect there, first of all. And secondly, she's going to wear whatever, whatever she wants. She's for the streets. So guys, I beg you. If your girl's going to do whatever she wants, that's fine. But she's no longer your girl. She's our girl. Just saying. Listen, man. There's not many things in life you can control, guys. But what you can't control is the women that you put, your, you know, put yourself with. Okay? And 
I'm just gonna fucking say this shit. Hit me with the sound effect, Chris. Yep. Misogyny. Misogyny. If you don't control your girl's sexuality, you don't control your relationship. One more fucking time, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You guys can clip this on TikTok or whatever the fuck. Some feminists can get mad and oh my god, that's so misogynistic. Yo, if you can't control your girl's sexuality, you do not control the relationship, okay? Because a woman's sexuality is her primary agency, okay? That is the reason you're in the relationship with her, okay? Get the fuck out of here with all this. Oh no, it's personality. It's all this other shit. It started with her looks, which is her primary agency or sexuality. Then you went ahead and got to you know figure out all the other bullshit. So what I'm saying is that. If you if you don't have primary access and control, okay, of her sexuality, you don't control the relationship. Because when a woman's in control of her sexuality, guess what she's gonna do? She's gonna post a bunch of ass shots on Instagram. <laughs> she's gonna be flying all over the place. She's gonna be in random people's Lambos, all this fuck shit. And a lot of you guys will be like, oh, well, Myron, you're just insecure. You're, maybe she just has friends that just have money, blah, blah, blah. That's a bunch of fucking coke, bro. When a girl is with it, guys. If your girl goes to the club, if your girl's traveling to foreign ass places, she's going on girls trips, she's doing any of this fucking hoe shit, you do not commit to these women, bro. Hmm. I don't know why you guys can't get it through your fucking head. These girls are recreational use only because guess what? Girls don't pay for Lambos. Girls don't pay for bottles. Girls don't pay for extravagant, extravagant trips in Tulum. Girls don't pay for flights a lot of the times. So if you see a girl doing all this other shit, she out here jet flying, limousine riding, like Rick Flair or some shit, you better she believe it's somebody fucking streets. paying for that shit, bro. And also, they don't pay for bottles or expensive dinners. None of that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. None of that shit. Oh, man, I can't say that on stream. Y'all sit here and we'll wife up these fucking girls that they, oh, no, she a good girl. And then, and then the other funny part is, Let's say you do wife up this girl and you meet her. She keeps doing the fuck shit that she was doing when you met her. You don't fucking knit, knit that shit in the butt and be like, yo, this is okay. This is unacceptable now. You can't be doing this shit no more. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm not telling you guys to control your girl. Be like, I'm going to lock you up inside and you can't do anything. No, you can't go. Ooh. On some Jeffrey Dahmer type shit. <laughs> what I am saying is this. If she does the fuck shit, you destroy the relationship. It's over. You are now recreationist only. It's sex only. You don't. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. But. There's no guarantee that you're going to continue to give her a relationship when she does whatever the fuck she wants. That's the point. Your relationship has to have some kind of value. But when you got bitches like this going on the internet, I wear what I want, blah, blah, blah. And then you got this girl. Okay, yeah, it's all right. He's so fucking starved for sex that his girl's openly disrespecting him on the internet. And he's okay with it because that's how much of a simp he is. He's enabling her whole activities. By allowing your girl to do whatever she wants and come out to you like nothing happened, you're enabling her bad behavior, as Myron would say. And as a result, what happens is this girl that you want to take it seriously to be maybe your mother, your kids, or even your wife. Now the respect is gone and she can never respect you again. So it's kind of like you set it up where you let her, you let things slide, you let things pass by. And you're like, you know what? That's my girl, man. I'm going to let it slide. But just doing that one action, bro, leads to a multitude of problems. And that right there, guys, leads to her cheating on you, laughing at you with her friends, putting you in a group chat. Like, oh, this thing is small. He's, he's a simp. It's like you're a laughing stock. If you want to be a real man, I understand. I look, you know what? I need to do better in my life. I need to have standards for myself. Cool. But if you can't walk away, and I, I promise you, bro, if you say if you say to yourself, I'm going to take a step back, I'm going to walk away, I guarantee you, if you're worth anything of value, she'll come back to you, bro. I guarantee you, bro, because most guys out there are trash, bro. So And the streets are cold. Sometimes she, sometimes you got to kick that bitch out on the street, let her feel the cold a little bit yeah. for her to realize, oh, shit, like I fucked up. And she can realize soon, bro. I'm telling yeah. you. And then, and then here's, the beauty, here's the beautiful part. When her dumb ass does come back, you decide the terms. Okay, you want to come back? All yeah. right, well, uh, now you're going to be demoted. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do that. This is what I expect, blah, blah, blah. I'll be honest with y'all. I want to take her ass back, especially if she did some... If she cheats on you, you definitely don't take her back. I know a lot of you guys are fucking simps. Don't take a girl back from cheating. But when a girl comes back, that's that's when you really got it. Yo, here's what you do, right? This is some fucked up shit, but I'm going to say it anyway on, on stream. So what you do is, bro... Misogyny. You bring her back into your circle. You don't make her a girl, though. But you sell her a yeah, dream. Hell no, no. Well, you sell her a dream like you're gonna be my girl. Oh. Just wait, wait a little bit longer, right? <laughs> and you do, you, do, you do what you gotta do. You have fun, but at the same time, you know your head. She's never, never gonna be wifey. You're putting her in the sex only zone, like a friend zone, and that's it. I mean, you're selling her a dream that like she might be your girl one day, but it's never, it's never gonna happen. So, but Myron the Fresh, if you're a real man, you let your girl go out in the clubs and shake her ass, and you know, be in sections with rappers and stuff. Oh, she can go, bro, but she's gonna be single. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But, but once again, she wouldn't even be my girl in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, this is like I'm telling you all before, you never can control what a girl can do. Yeah. Only, the only thing you could do is control how you how you deal with her. OK, I'm telling you all. So your life isn't miserable to not wife up girls like that because they come with a whole bunch of problems. 
Okay. And and I know someone's gonna say, but mine are fresh. Like, what about girls that are not my main girl? Well, nigga, why do you care what she's doing? Yeah, why do you she, care? She's not your girl. Like, she could do whatever, nigga. You smashing. Yep. It's what it is. Yeah. Once you start to care, that that's that's when it's a problem. Yep. That's when you need to really start reassessing, like, what the fuck am I doing here? If you're like caring about a girl that's out in the club and doing a bunch of thought shit, man. Like, and this is why I tell you guys all the time, you gotta, you gotta like look at like her character traits and you gotta look at her habits. Like, bro, I hate to say it, but like you, a girl's Instagram, girls snitch on themselves a lot of times. And fortunately, right? Most women don't know what men want. So bitches are stupid enough to go ahead and post that they were in Tulum, to, to post themselves in a Lamborghini, to post themselves Vegas. at a luxurious restaurant, Vegas, whatever. This is all shit for you to be like, okay, I got some clues here. This girl more than likely is a 304. And here's the thing. There's a girl that travel all the time, a whore. Well, maybe not because she might have a rich dad, that he's the one paying for everything, etc. But when you see a bunch of different red flags all working together in tandem with this girl, well, yeah. guys, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, whatever, Probably is a fucking duck. I was on a date the other day, right? And we were in the roles. Go pull out her phone. I'm like, hey, do you mind if I do the video? Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. There's a video in the car. Gets a sign of the seat. Uh, of course, back. of course. Typical three or four. Double behavior. R with the lights. And I asked her a question. I was like, I'm just curious. Like, are you gonna post that? So yeah. I'm like, for who to see? Oh, all my friends. And I'm like, aren't you single? She's like, yeah, I'm single. Why are you trying to wife me up? I'm like, hold on. <laughs> You can jump in the gun. Nope. But I was like, so you know we post that, right? Guys are gonna be like, yo, whose car is that? Yeah. And she's like, Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm just like, Well, why are you posting that? Well, you know, they might get jealous, but I don't care. I'm like, I'm not your man. <laughs> so it's yeah. like, you're gonna no, no, you look stupid because you're posting it in somebody's car, and it's like, niggas aren't dumb. They're like, yo, that's somebody's car. And if they know my podcast, they know it's me. Yeah. So it's like, bro, like, what are you doing? Yeah. And and, and that go that just goes to show you guys like the stupidity of the modern day woman. They think like posting this shit makes them hot. No, when I see a girl doing this shit, I'm like, she's a fucking slut. Like, well, because I know niggas that got money yeah. that do this type of shit. Bro, like I, they're not, they're not bringing you in their car just to hang out. Like I know you're, you're fucking. Like what do you, what the fuck do you think yeah. this is? You think I'm some like sucker, or whatever? And girls are so dumb that they think that shit's attractive. No, it's attractive when I do it because I'm paying for it. I'm clearly providing the lifestyle. Yeah. When a girl does it, that shit is a turn off. Yeah, you know how me, how me rolling, bro. She was like, oh well, I want to stunt on these hoes, make them jealous. And I'm like, <laughs> stupid for what? You look dumb. You doing look that dumb shit. as fuck. So it is. It, but but that goes to tell you, I'm. This is guys. Like that's the equivalent of like. Let, let's say you posted a picture of yourself in fucking high heels on Instagram. <laughs> Do you think any girls would take you serious? They'd be no. like, what the fuck? They'd be like, ew. What is it? Who, is this nigga playing for the other team or whatever? Right. But girls, for some odd fucking reason, think it's hot to post pictures of themselves all over the place doing that shit. <sighs> but that goes to show you guys that we live in a world nowadays where women don't give a fuck what men want. They don't give a fuck what we think. They don't give a shit about getting wiped up at all. Yeah. To them, it's like, let me have fun right now. Let me get my instant gratification right now. And then some guy will be waiting there 10 years from now to fucking save me. And the reason why they feel like that is because we got fucking sips like this dumbass nigga over here mm. saying, yeah, she can wear whatever she wants. She can wear whatever she wants. And then that bitch comes and meets a guy like me that says, yo, I don't tolerate that fuckery. Oh, it's a care. Misogynist. Fuck you, bitch. No, it's not misogynistic. It's realistic. I know when a woman opens up and shows her sexuality and advertises it to the world, I know what the fuck that comes with. Yeah. I know that she's going to have a bunch of thirsty niggas coming after her. I know that she's going to have a bunch of an inflated sense of ego. I know that she's more than likely going to be fucking some of these guys because when you get thousands of men hitting on you all the time, well, from a percentage standpoint, she's going to fuck some of them. Okay? You're going to have a higher body count, attention, all this shit. She's just going to be disillusion to reality and i don't want a girl like that yeah that's that's supposed to be the girl that is your main chick this is going to be the mother of your fucking children one day guys okay i need you guys to think about it long term not just oh oh my god she's a oh, nice ass i gotta fuck her right now oh my god no you gotta really think long term like yo is your son gonna be proud 20 years from now when pictures of your mom are found on the fucking internet of her showing her ass like this is a real talk you guys gotta have with yourselves a lot of you fucking guys what about these girls Right. Not thinking about your daughter or your son's future because you want to get some instant gratification with some thought right now and get some fun and have some sex. But you don't think, oh, damn. OK, this girl does some fuck shit. This might fuck my you know, uh, that's going to embarrass me. But damn, let me think about my son. Maybe he might get made fun of on the fucking playground because my fucking wife's a thought. And that's his mom. Holy shit. No, 
Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Why are you guys giving these girls a relationship when they never deserved it in the first place? They want to act like they're from the streets. They want to behave like they live in the streets. Cool. Let them stay on the fucking streets. Don't wife up girls like that shit. And if more guys understood their value and realized, oh, shit, these girls probably don't deserve a relationship, these bitches would act right. But they don't because you fucking sit sit here and let a bitch tell you straight to your face, I'm going to dress however I want. And your dumb ass is going to stay at home and wait for me while I go suck some other guy's dick. And you motherfuckers don't respect yourselves. You know what they're saying to themselves when you, whenever you wipe them up? They're saying, I identify as single. So they're with you, but they're really single. Facts. And their actions show this because they don't care about shit what you say. They're doing whatever they want. So guys, we're just saying in a nutshell, if you're a man of means, a man of value, you want to become, become better, don't wipe up girls that don't respect you, bro. There, there's no point. Just hell no. enjoy the moment, have fun. But to call her a girl? No, she's our girl, bro. The whole community is girl. I am literally going to go into detail on this shit in the book, Why Women Deserve Less, okay? <laughs> Coming out very soon, probably first quarter of the year, all right? Coming out very soon. We should do a, a book study on that when it comes out. Yeah, bro. Well, the book's only going to be 50 to 75 pages because, well, women deserve less. That's good. And the other thing, too, also, I'm going to talk about this shit. Guys, there is a simp fucking pandemic, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, it is, it, like, it is really fucking bad. The average woman... In today's day and age, does not respect the average man. Versus if you went back 70, 80 years ago, women had a general respect for men. They don't respect men no more. No. Nah. Unless you're worth respecting in terms of like value-wise to her, she's like, oh, just another dude, another wallet. All right, I'm good. But it's kind of like you have to literally be the guy of her dreams to even stand a chance. And nowadays, with so many options, bro, you might be good-looking, but you don't have all qualities of having success, maybe some status, maybe some money. She's like, all right, that just that just like like uh, D versus like God is everything, bro. She's like, you know what? I found my match. But once again, to find a match, especially you guys in the chat, you got to be all rounded. You got to have your money on point, your mindset on point, fitness on point, also as well status on point. So it's not the, easy, bro. The pedestalization of women in the modern day age has fueled this type of fucking narcissism that this girl has. She's openly disrespecting her man's authority on the internet with zero fucking remorse okay yeah. and the thing is is that she's behaving that way and, and you know what the scary part is she said that shit on camera camera imagine what she does behind the scenes with her boyfriend it's funny you said it earlier girls on the show would say one thing do the opposite the moment that, that they leave and it's because on camera they're acting obviously in the purity standpoint yeah but in reality who they are as a person comes on their actions and girls will tell you, oh, yeah, babe, you're the only one. You're the one I want to be with. <laughs> There's a song that Chris Bonner says, he's holding loyal. And it stands to tell you that, like, bro, this is so true. Unless you're the man of means, bro, it's, even if you're a man of means, right, and you don't hold your frame, it's going to happen to you as well. So it's kind of like, no matter what happens, guys, do not have chicks that are not worth it, bro. If the respect is not there, what's the point? And, and the other thing, too, I want to let you guys know, understand, guys, that a woman's primary value is her loyalty that men don't ask for much from women if your girl's a hoe she's basically fucking useless to be honest <laughs> with y'all like she's literally useless like i don't know why like th- that sex only this dist- get the fuck out of here because here's the thing male and female loyalty is not the same okay and and i'll take it a step further for y'all him with the sound effect chris yep, got you. right misogyny i would argue women are biologically designed to not be loyal and i'll explain what i mean by this we under design to protect their egg for the best seed that they can, okay? Mm. Tallest, most athletic, shape, money, status, etc. okay? Women are designed to get the best of the best that they can. And then they're also designed to quickly acquiesce to a new leader if he comes in and dump the other guy. Statistically speaking, we know women get over relationships way faster than men do. Why? Well, it's a biological hardwiring. Back in the day, when Genghis Khan and all those other motherfuckers were running around killing and pillaging, whatever, and they killed off the men, all the all the men off. What did the women have to do? Well, they had to acquiesce to the new dominant male in their life, which is the fucking guys that invaded and took over, right? So women know as the weaker sex, they have to align themselves with the strongest male. Okay. So women are biologically hardwired to go after the best man that they can get from a survival standpoint this isn't to say oh my god we need to hate women because they're not loyal oh my god we need to get rid of them blah 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 no it's Brifold's law women love a man only only under the pretense that he provides value whether it's finances resources security whatever men must some, bring something to the table women however do not have to so what i'm saying is this since you have to bring so much to the table 
and you can easily be replaced. I think demanding some goddamn loyalty out of your girl and not her not being like a hoe and sh- or showing her sexuality isn't that much to ask when you have to bring all these other things to the table. Yeah. So I'm not telling y'all to hate women because a lot of you guys will sit here and get mad like, oh my God, fuck this shit, punch in the air, angry and shit because, uh, because women love opportunistically. Yo, we give you guys this information. No, not so that you can hate women. We give you this information so that you won't hate women for what they'll never fucking be to you. Yeah. One more time for you motherfuckers. Get this through your fucking brains. We don't teach you guys this information to hate women. We teach you guys this information so you don't hate women for what they'll never fucking be to you. What is that? Loving you idealistically like your fucking mom. You're not going to get that shit from your girl. Your girl is not your fucking mom. She only loves you on the pretense you provide value. Get it through your head. This Disney fairy tales and romanticism, all this other faggot shit, it doesn't exist. Okay? It does not exist. A girl loves you only under you providing value. So you must be valuable. A lot of you guys are fucking losers. Don't bring anything to the table. Fat, no money, loser, no fucking frame, loser like this fucking guy over here has no fucking spine, girl walking all over him. She's just dealing with him because she he provides her probably some kind of semblance of security of yeah. a boyfriend so she doesn't feel like a hoe. But guess what she does on the weekends? Mm-hmm. She goes out to the club, does her thing, dudes DM her, oh my God, I got some options, blah, blah, blah. Yes, as soon as something better comes along, she gonna go on that and break up with this fucking idiot that's how it goes guys that's how it goes these alpha women that say all this bullshit about oh i like a guy that's nice blah 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 they might date that guy for a period of time but then they go out fuck other guys they break up with him anyway (laughs) so why not just be that fucking guy in the first place but a lot of you guys think okay i'll just be the nice guy i'll get some sex i'll get a relationship from her blah 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 listen man it is better for you to be single and working on your purpose when no bitches and have a bitch and have her fucking disrespect you'll make your life miserable it's not worth it it is not worth it a lot of you guys will sit there and have a girl just so that you can say you have a girlfriend but she treats you like fucking dog shit because your value is not high enough and i'll tell you guys this women are awesome when you have your shit together they come in and to make your life better they assist they become a compliment to your fucking life a lot of you fucking assholes want a girl so bad that you're willing to sit there and get emasculated disrespected treated like shit so you can get some fucking sex ridiculous unbelievable and then you guys wonder why the modern day woman doesn't doesn't fucking respect the modern day man? Because a lot of you motherfuckers don't respect yourselves. That's facts. That's facts. <laughs> Yo, that's like um, there's there's times where like for example, a girl will post her man on Instagram, right, or Facebook, whatever, and they be lovey dovey on the social media, but behind the scenes, she's literally like disrespecting him all the way. And look, we get it, guys. You may not have your money on point now, but when you do, imagine wife and a chick, a chick like that. And then she takes half your money as well. It's kind of like you set yourself for failure if you set, if you pick the wrong girl. And as a result, picking the wrong girl can just destroy you. So we're just saying, look, choose wisely. Don't wife with these hoes. And secondly, respect has to be there. You can't buy respect. You have to earn respect and has to be there from the very beginning. If not, it's not even worth it. So uh, word from our sponsor. Yeah, real quick, before we uh, hit the word from our sponsors, I just want to say, just understand, guys, that loyalty is not something that women um, give away unless your value is high. You have to be the best version of yourself for her to be loyal to you. Once you're, once that value goes down, she's going to start looking otherwise. And, and it, that's okay. I don't want you guys to get mad at hypergamy. I want you guys to accept hypergamy and use it to your advantage. Mm-hmm. That's why we're so big on you guys getting money, getting in shape, becoming the best version of yourself because we know how women think. We know that they only love you under the pretense that you add value. So what the fuck are you going to do? Are you going to cry about it? Like, oh my God, this pisses me off. Girls are so fucking, oh my God, they're gold diggers. Oh, they only like me for my height or my income, blah, blah, blah. I've said it before. I'll say it again all women are fucking gold diggers some are just better at hiding the goddamn shovel okay so there's some girls that say i want a guy that has money i don't give a fuck i'm not settling then there's some other girls that you know dress it up a little bit and say oh i want a guy that has ambition and he's a hard worker blah 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 translation i want a guy that might not have resources right now but he's damn well on the way to getting the fucking resources yep. so some girls are just better at concealing the shit just like your dumbass. well i want a girl that has a nice ass and slim waist and she's in shape blah 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 like men are the same way the difference is this as a as a woman she has the ability to get what the fuck she wants. As a man, you don't necessarily have the ability to get what you want unless you work on yourself first. Okay? Girls get it given to them. You have to earn it. You don't have the privilege of being able to just sit there and be like, okay, girls are going to come to me. That does, It doesn't work that way. Yeah, you got to go out there and get it. Dude, girls have the ultimate abundance mindset. They, they can, do. They can wake up, go to Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. They get DMs all, all day. Now, are they viable options? For the most part, no. But just the mindset of having those options there, dude, they feel like they're on top of the world. Because a guy, one itis, oh, I got a girlfriend. Finally, I have a girlfriend. It's like you you tolerate the, the bad behavior, all the disrespect, and you wonder why you can't 
feel good in your house because, dude, she's the man. You're not wearing the pants. She is. And what is that? It's, it's doomed. So, guys, we're just saying in a nutshell, you have to understand that if you allow her to, to disrespect you, she will. And if that happens, it can manifest in cheating, her hitting you in public, her even telling people about you behind your scenes, like your friends. And then they laugh at you. It's like, yo, like, respect in the streets is gone as well. So it's a double-edged sword, guys. And if you're not ready to handle that type of pressure and what it comes with, don't, don't even try it, bro. Don't even try it. Quick word from our sponsor at L Ad, Ad Read. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, but yeah, man, I guess the, the thing is, like I said before, to, to cl- wrap this thing up, is you guys have to be really diligent and really careful on which girls you wife up. And if you wife up a girl that is like adamant about, I'm going to continue to do whatever the fuck I want to do and dress how I want to dress, ask yourself this question. Would your woman talk to her boss like that? Oh, shit, no. Oh, no, she wouldn't. Oh, oh. She'll get, she'll get she, fired. Yeah, fire. oh. yeah because fire. here's the thing that you motherfuckers don't understand. A girl will go ahead and wear a suit every single day to work, you know, speak proper and be feminine and be punctual and, and treat her boss with the greatest respect, and that nigga don't give a fuck about her. But then she'll come home to your dumb ass and say, I wear what I want. I'm going out with the girls at the club. Hey, babe, well, I don't, uh, you know, I don't think you're dressed up. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Then she leaves anyway and goes, and then she goes and fucks some guys in the bathroom or some shit like that. The problem is this. Mm-hmm. A lot of women will sit there and respect their fucking job that doesn't give a fuck about them more than their man. And what I'm telling y'all is to not accept that fucking shit, okay? If your girl wants to go ahead and act like she is from the streets, cool. Treat her like she is from the streets. You will never get a serious relationship out of me. You are sex only. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with putting a girl in the sex only category. I'm just telling y'all, protect your fucking heart. No homo. Because guys, at the end of the day, love women for real. Men tend to love idealistically. Women love opportunistically. Girls have to bring shit to the table to get a boyfriend. But guys have to bring a lot to the table to bring, get a fucking girlfriend. Which is exactly why I should have as multiple, as many of them as you fucking can, by the way. Because you have to work your ass off to be attractive. They don't. Okay? And when you guys do have multiple women, girls respect you more. And I know what you guys are going to say. Well, Myron, that's fucked up. Aren't you supposed to be like, you know, prop, you know, um, advocating for men to become the best version of themselves and have a wife and have a strong, single, uh, a strong family, blah, blah, blah? Of course. I wish it was 1951, but, but it's not, motherfuckers. Not. The world, the day, the, the world has changed significantly. The only way a guy is able to command respect from a woman is two ways. Well, two main things. The ability to walk away and the ability to replace her. That's the only thing modern day women respect nowadays, bro. Yeah. That's the only way. That's the only leverage you have. Women make their own money nowadays. They're, they have all the same equal rights and privileges that men have. You don't really have any power as a guy. The only thing you could do is get your value high and have other women and be able to replace her. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing you could do. All right. It's not 1950 fucking one anymore. Girls have their own shit. So you need to make sure that you have your shit and you have another girl that can replace her. That's women act right when they know that they can be replaced. And the reason for this is because we no longer have religion. We no longer have institutions. We no longer have shame. None of this stuff is in place anymore. All the buffers that used to, you know, kind of circumvent the worst parts of hypergamy of female nature. They're fucking gone. They've been destroyed. Feminism has destroyed them. Okay. There is no public shame. There is no religion to curtail this shit. There is no father figure in the house to stop this shit. Okay? So the only thing you could do is respond to the current sexual marketplace. And for all you fucking weirdos out there, well, Myron, my dad said this, or my uncle thinks this, or my uh, cousin who's 10 years old than me thinks this. Fuck them. They're not (laughs) dealing with these girls nowadays today. (laughs) Times have changed. Motherfuckers that got in a relationship even five years ago, they come and become single now in 2022. They're like, oh my God, what the fuck happened? They don't know what to do. It's like the world changed. They're like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, things have changed significantly over even just in the past five years, things have changed dramatically. Social media itself has changed the landscape. And there's no going back, bro. There's no going back because of, oh, I missed the old times. Yeah, they get her gone. They ain't coming back. They're not going. They, yeah. yeah, I wish I could tell y'all find one girl, have sex with her, lose your virginity to her, have a family with her, white picket fence, American dream. I wish I could say that shit, but those days are done. If you find a hot twenty one year old nowadays, I guarantee you she has a body count of at least ten to twenty. And if you at least, if you don't believe us, go to your local divorce uh, attorneys and ask them. Ask them how it's going out there. Is it is it sweet? Is it nice, bro? It's kind of like if you want to believe in this fairy tale, you you can, bro. You, you can do whatever you want. We're just saying, the reality is, it doesn't always go that way. And when it doesn't go that way, you lose. The man always loses. The girl doesn't really lose that much. But overall, though, guys, there's always a simp that's gonna save her. Yes, women have an abundance mindset. So to love the playing field, we're equal, right? Let's have one too. But we're actually gonna act on it. 
Yeah. So, and and the, the other thing, too, you have to earn your abundance mindset. She yeah. just naturally has one. That's the difference, guys. Men have to earn their abundance mindset. Girls just naturally have it. Yeah. And just so you guys understand real quick what the fuck I'm talking about. I use these analogies with women and stuff like that. I'm going to use one for guys. Let's go into a dream world. Okay. So you niggas can understand this shit because a lot of you guys don't understand how much on steroids a woman's abundance mindset is. So let me illustrate it for you. Let's say you got two bad bitches in your bed. All right. Hot. Nines, tens, IG models, whatever. And you just fin finish the threesome smashing both of them. Okay. And you know, after you bust a nut, you get that fucking moment of clarity. You know what I mean? That whole like, oh shit, okay, I'm back to back to my senses. You know what I mean? Because you after you busted a nut, I want you to freeze that moment, take that feeling. That's how women feel all the time. Think about that for one second. Yeah. I want y'all to really understand that shit. That abundance mindset you have after busting a nut and then having two bad bitches next to you, that's how women live their life 24 fucking seven three sixty five that is why the modern day woman does respect the modern day man that is why women curve you that is why women cancel on you that is why women say i can get a better option that is why girls initiate a majority of the breakups it's because they have that post nut clarity 365 motherfucker so now yeah. that you guys fucking understand what it actually feels like to have an abundance mindset that's how girls operate all the time. That's why they can go on a date with your dumb ass and say, entertain me, you dancing monkey. And then your dumb ass is like the fucking clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you whatever you want. Oh, monkey sim, blah, blah, blah. Because they have an abundance mindset of fucking steroids. Yep. They bust a nut all the time. So girls, this is after your point as well, Myron. They have the option to text a guy and say, you know what? I need money. I need, I need this paid. I need food. I need sex. I need emotional support. A text away, a phone call away. You, on the other hand, have to earn that, like Myron said earlier. Now, that being said, though, if you have a girl, right, that you want to talk to and you're taking serious in that sense, like, she has multiple options. What do you have? If you don't have options yourself, you're stuck with that one itis mindset. You know what? It's my girl. I got to make it work no matter what. But she might be terrible for you. So, a bonus mindset you must have, guys, and that's earned. As a guy, you need options in your life. And if you are a man of value, a man of means, you can attract that to yourself as well. But off rip, you don't have that. So it's confidence, first of all, uh, money as well, mindset, gym, that all goes into play. We're just saying, guys, at the end of the day, end of the day, guys, you need to have that in check. If not, you're going to end up losing or settling for one girl at least. So now that you guys have the general feeling of what it is to like be a girl as far as like that moment of clarity after you bust a nut, I want you guys one day to go on a date after busting a nut and smashing a girl. Have you ever done this shit? Yeah. I've done it. Bro, it is fucking magnificent. <laughs> when you go on a date with a girl, first date especially, and you just had sex with some other chick that was attractive, and then you come back and you deal with this chick, and she's like maybe the same level, maybe even not as hot as the other girl, you don't give a fuck. She'll say, son, dumb. Yeah, that was stupid. Uh, or, or she'll say, or she'll do something. You're like, oh, I don't, uh, what the, what, what is that? Or you're a clown or whatever. And guess what? You become magically more fucking attractive because she knows you don't give a fuck. And when you don't give a fuck, that's when she wants to fuck. That's how it goes, guys. Women respect guys that don't necessarily respect them. One more time for you assholes. <laughs> Women respect men that don't necessarily re women respect men that don't necessarily respect them because women understand that they got to be with a guy that is superior to them. So if you're better than somebody, you're going to give them the same level of respect. No, girls sit here and say, "Oh, yeah, but I hate guys that don't treat men, women well." Blah blah blah. Shut the fuck up. Those are the guys that you suck their dick, bitch. Fuck out of here. <laughs> nice guys finish last, and it's been that way forever because women want guys that are better than them. And if you're better than someone, are you going to reciprocate the same level of respect and value? No, no. you're not. OK, and the biggest demonstration of higher value and higher status of someone else is to be able to demean them just because you fucking want to do it. Girls love to be degraded. Girls love a misogynist. Girls love assholes. Girls love jerks. Girls love guys that treat them poorly. This is why women deserve less. Book coming out soon, niggas. I've been telling y'all, you got to stop pedestalizing these girls. When you pedestalize girls, she's going to immediately look down upon you because you pedestalize her. So therefore, by virtue, she's higher than you. She has to look down. But when you're pedestalized, you look down. You can accept that. Men are okay dating down. Women are not. Yeah. And this is a reality that, like, is not smiled upon or what we want, but it is reality. And we saw the time on the show, like, you can give a girl, uh, you know, attention, money, sex but that's things that happen like in between but what really matters is experience and what is experience i mean for example a roller coaster of emotions up and down you know she's like damn does, does he like me 
is he really into me? I can't, t- I can't really tell. And by action, you're, you're showing her, of course, you're, you're escalating as well, but it is an emotional roller coaster up and down. She can't be stable. You're boring. It has to be fun, exciting. She don't know what's going to happen next. That experience is going to say, you know what? Damn, this guy's different. He stands out. I want to be with him. Give me a thousand. Yeah. Now, I know some of you guys in the chat are going to like take it to the extreme and treat your girl badly. I'm not saying that. Nah, bro. You fucking I weirdos. never hit women. Yeah. What never. I am saying. Chris. Yeah, don't do that. Chris. <laughs> yeah, don't do what Chris did. Never hit women, bro. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Uh, of course. Walk away. Yeah. Some of y'all might take that shit to the stream. What I'm saying in general is that when you are aloof and you don't give a shit and you might, you may come off as treating a girl poorly, they respect that shit more. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, you got to, I tell you guys all the time, punish bad behavior, but some of you guys forget that you got to reward the good behavior too. If a girl does well for you and she does shit, yeah. Take her somewhere nice, you know, give her your non-sexual attention. Be be there for her if she is adding value to your life. The problem is this. You guys give good treatment to women that don't fucking deserve, deserve it. it. And that to me is simping. Yeah. Because she's disrespecting you in public in your own home and you're buying her a bag, taking her on a trip. Bro, the last thing you should be doing is giving a girl validation for treating you like shit. Because yeah. now what's going to happen facts. is your life is stuck. She don't respect you. And last but not least, if you wait for her, bro, she's going to abuse and, and use you. 100%. It happens all the time. Look at the divorce court. So... Is what it is, bro. That's why women deserve less, guys. I'm telling y'all, bro. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, the, the simping e- epidemic needs to end, bro. Like, this shit is starting to get out of fucking hand. And I, I, I mean, think about it. Like, when we bring these girls on the show, a lot of times they got simps all over the place on them. That's why they behave the way they fucking do. And it's funny because, like, I used to do like a bunch of like. Blogs. They just can't even name three countries, and they're over here talking shit to us. And they want to lead you. And they want to try to lead you, <laughs> nigga. These girls can't. They're out here saying, "Oh, name three countries: Florida, Antarctica, Florida, Texas, California." And these are the same bitches bossing you stupid fucks around. Tree, uh, continents too. But it's just funny, like, bro. nigga, these, you, you, these girls can't even name three countries yet. They're telling you they're gonna wear what the fuck they want when they go outside, but they wouldn't dare talk to their fucking boss like that, saying, "Oh, I'm gonna wear what I want, boss." Fuck out of here. The clown world. Hmm. Clown fuck world. Mar, fuck geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it geography? Just kidding. Geometry said geometry. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Okay, uh, some, uh, you might need to refresh, Chris, or no, you got it. Cool. Yep. All right, JBX says, is it legal to record your girl if she starts walling out on you, wh- whether at home or in public? I want to have evidence just in case. Uh, I mean. Depends on the state. On the state, yeah. I mean, it's, it's always good to have, though, but like, you know. Yeah, some states are, you know, uh, Two party consent states. Just pull the phone out and be like, bitch, you look crazy right now. I'm just, you know what I mean? Uh, check Facebook chat. We I mean, we're not, we're not on Facebook. Uh, shout out to you, though. Uh, I think that's Egyptian. Shout out to we got Egyptian dollars in the house. Cool. Congrats on 100K on all the platforms. I'm subscribed. When is the yacht party this coming year? I'm down. Cool. Uh, Fresh and Martin, what's your thoughts on Brittany Renner saying she regrets letting men use her body for their leisure? Yeah, bro. I mean, I called it. Called I, it. I warned her, dumbass, and she didn't listen. And I'm going to know what I want. Stupid. The problem with Brittany Renner, guys, is that she is a perfect example of what I talk about. She's a girl that uh, did a lot of stupid shit in her youth, right? And she's like, okay, well, I'm not going to go ahead and take accountability for my actions because I still get attention and validation from high-status men, so therefore I can continue to get these guys. And like now she's starting to realize that, yo, your actions in your past do have consequences. Men only want to use you for sex because you have done nothing but make yourself a sexual object by putting out books about your sexuality. Men don't can't take that shit seriously. You fucked yourself up for any type of real serious long-term relationship from a man of value. Any guy that wipes you up now at this point is a simp. The same men that she wanted to be her suitor or the guys to be her husband, she isolated them writing that book, talking about them in public, and as well exposing herself to be a thought. Those actions cause her to be literally the epitome of cats and dogs. Uh-huh. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a PhD. Oh, uh, and also <laughs> women don't mature until they stop getting sexual attention from the opposite gender. Yeah. yeah, you guys could go ahead and call me a fucking asshole or that's misogynistic or sexist or whatever the fuck it is. But the reality is they don't actually start to mature and reflect on their life and realize what the fuck they're doing is stupid until they stop getting the same type of attention from men that they got when they were in their peak. Because I promise y'all, when Brittany Renner was 21, you couldn't tell her nothing. nothing. You couldn't tell her shit. I'm going to do what I want. Fuck you. Blah, 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 blah. And she still had that attitude last year. But she's starting to slowly wake up and realize, oh, shit, the chickens are coming to roost. That book is hurting me. Damn, this dude only hit me up for sex. Oh, fuck. I can't maintain this relationship. Damn, this lawyer's not taking me serious. Fuck. These guys all just want to have sex with me like I'm some novelty toy. Yeah. You put yourself in that fucking box. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Women cannot 
objectify themselves. Men cannot objectify a woman unless she objectifies herself first. That's how it goes, all right? Women have to objectify themselves first, and then a byproduct of that is then the men go ahead and in turn objectify them, all right? Think about this for a second, right? Let's use the common sense. If a girl's walking down the street, do niggas just throw single dollar bills at her? Nope. No. But when she's at a strip club dancing on a pole with nothing on, then niggas throw a single dollar bills at her, right? Because she objectified herself, and in response, men respond by objectifying her by throwing currency at her. But it's not like guys run around and objectify women all the time. Women always have to objectify themselves first. Then the men go ahead and reciprocate. Yeah. But women want to be able to sit there, objectify themselves, act like a hoe, dress like a hoe, smell like a hoe, behave like a hoe, but then not be treated like a hoe. That doesn't make sense. That's not how the world fucking works, bitch. What the fuck? But they expect you to treat them like a good girl and all this other shit when they act like hoes. Because if that was the case, if men really objectify women as much as these feminists want to say, nigga, dudes will be walking around, oh, yeah, this random bitch just walked into the store, stop and shop, woo, throw a single dollar bill at her, two dollar bills. They don't do that shit. They only do that shit in response to the woman objectifying herself first. So when a girl is being objectified, you best believe she did some fuck shit to, being, to be objectified in the first place. It's like you wear a short dress and niggas cat call you, you get mad. They say, hold on, who's wearing the dress? Yeah. You literally told them. Hey, cat call me all day. Hit on me. Your your actions prove that you want to be hit on. So you, they may say, oh, well, you know, that's their problem. No, no. You enabling that behavior is you actually wearing that dress. It's simple. Zero fucking accountability. Yeah. Guys, if you know, a couple like uh, weeks ago, we had a girl come in. Oh, yeah. Guys objectify me and treat me like shit because of the way that I dress. Men are just horn dogs. And I'm like. And obviously this girl on her Instagram, all she has is fucking pictures of herself half naked and shit like that. And she wonders why guys treat her shitty. And I had to, I had to stop her real quick. Like, yo, yo well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Does someone put a gun to your head and tell you to dress that way? Uh, no, I, I dress that way, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you cannot go sit here and expect everyone to behave in a way that you think is right based off of how you dress. Like, that's not how the way the world works. Mm -hmm. Okay? We don't operate on should, could, or would. We operate on what is. Not all guys are gentlemen. Not all guys are nice. Not all guys are good people. There's a lot of fucking uh, weirdo creeps out there that are perverts that when you dress a certain way, they're going to behave a certain way. I'm mm -hmm. telling you this. If you dress a certain way, you can't get mad at people treating you a certain way. So I'm going to have to tell my daughter, you got to take accountability for the way that you dress and the way that you portray yourself in the world. That's how it fucking goes, man. Incredible. Uh, we have some shots here? Yeah. X says, W. Ramiron. Thank you. Christian Marco. Down the Marco. Dreamer. Dreamer goes, be willing to walk away, man. There are more of them than there are you, especially if you live in a city. Miami demographics are 94 men to 100 women. Think about that. Cool. Fam, look up the shorty of Jaime Lopez. I'm sure you'd have a lot to say. Things to say. Things oh, to the, say. The story of Jaime Lopez. The pacifist. Okay, the pacifist. Okay, bars. Thank you. Writer. Michael Mistro, uh Dollar. Um, Y'all giving away too many cheat codes. And that's from Barry Graham. Dude, we holding back a lot, bro. Uh, Dave, on a date, how to switch from fun energy to sexual? We have an actual Zoom call um, that we recorded. kind of just describes that in, in a nutshell. Um, is that up right now? I don't know if it Probably is. Not. Yeah, yeah, you got to escalate, bro. You yeah. got to escalate. Um, we talked about this on other podcasts. Uh, look at our first date uh, podcast that we did. Yeah. Um, we don't wife up 304s, FF we up. Okay, thank you from SSJ, SSJ Future. TMB goes, I was married to a single mom a few years ago. I didn't have, and I didn't have frame, got out scot-free, but that experience changed my entire perspective on relationships and how I view women. Never again, no 304 will ever have that type of power over me. Yeah, bro, I was there, bro. Yeah. I yeah. was there. First been there too. Yep. Uh, been wondering when you drop in the sauce of the struggling women out here. The one episode all women can watch back and understand what will lead to long-term relationships they really want? Is it time? I'm confused by that question, Jasper. 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 Uh, if you discount exceptions, you don't live in reality because in reality, there's exceptions. Dave? No, but to go off for exceptions only is, is dumb. Yeah. So. Yeah, bro. That was a very female <laughs> type thing. Not, not it, Dave. Uh, if you can't change her, change her. Okay. Uh, Chris, good job on producing. Mo, one year anniversary. Myron, thanks for the Feta channel and fresh stay up. Okay. And that's from Kevin Terrell. Cool. Hey, I'm 15 years old, uh, making it out the hood, making content on YouTube, doing no fap improvement three times a week, working out any other things I should add. No, keep going on that path, my friend. Consistency plus times equals success. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy has to be broke. No way I'm letting a 304 do me like that. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. When you're a lower status guy, you have to deal with the bullshit that a girl puts you through because yeah. you can't replace her. Jay Luminati, uh, can you reach uh, to tech lead child support video? Wife kidnapped the kid and now he pays child support. Judge didn't care. 
how he she ran away with the kids of Japan. Well, that's oh. what happens. You know, vet women properly. Yeah, tech lean. Yeah, Nick okay. Wright. Just assume every chick is hiding behind a three or four until they prove you otherwise. Ninety percent of women are unmanageable, and ninety percent of men are simps. That's true. Yeah, Simpsons. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Michael Meestroke, RIP YouTube. Okay, I decided already that I won't be getting any sort of relationship with any woman unless I have my stuff on point, keeping my head down and grinding. Yeah, bro. You can still have fun, but but don't like take it too serious because yeah. you're not ready for it, bro. Yeah, you got to have your shit together, bro. Uh, married over 20 years now as a Muslim man, only way to, it will work in modern society. Cool, Raj Uh G Blow Jarba. Five bucks. Appreciate that. Lunchbox. Yo, fresh and fit. I have a dilemma. I provide everything. Income, security, and safety, but I'm a, in a sexless marriage. What could be the possibilities to why and some things I can change? Uh, divorce that bitch. Yeah. Um, Leave, bro. It's simple, bro. Like, th there's no... Th nah, nah. You, you, th get rid of her, bro. Especially if you don't have kids, j just divorce her. That'll, that'll wake her ass up. I'll tell you that. That'll wake her up. Yeah. Um, Black women respect thy boss more than their man. That's facts. <laughs> and the kids of... <laughs> Yo, this nigga, bro. <laughs> uh, and, and they boss more than they met. In that case, uh, in that case, what are good responses to when ladies try to shame you when you ask why don't you have a girlfriend? What's a good response to that? Because they don't ask that to shame you. Because you don't want to. Duh. I mean, bro, why are you answering? Yeah. Why, why are you explaining yourself to women, bro? What the fuck is going on? I think it's because you, you don't want to. Yeah, nigga, we, we don't. What the hell do I tell you guys on this podcast all the time, bro? You know, we don't negotiate with terrorists over here, bro. It's it, it, it. This is how it is. If you don't like it, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, was it CJ or Kevin Samuels, RIP, that said, protect your meat, uh, money, energy, time, and attention? CJ. CJ. No words more true were ever spoken. Listen up, fellas. W stream like the video. Cool. If she has your kids, uh, child, is it okay to pay your bills? I think you mean her bills. Try to get custody, my friend. Yeah. Uh, Fresh to fit, what improvement and betterment do you guys have for the Discord? It's a couple of guys who log in and talk about every about anything wasting time. They do Bible study. So you're 29. <laughs> You should get fresh to narrate your book on Audible. I will. That'd be dope. Yosef. Uh, Yosef. Women love bad boys. Ask Icy. <laughs> okay. So grateful for this show when the book dropping. The book is probably going to drop early next year, guys, sometime in maybe January, February. And that's from Jackson Few. Evan F., can you answer my last question? Rayel? Probably did. But... We probably did. Yeah. Okay. Fresh is the result of a fusion between Mr. Popo and Mushmouth from Fat Albert. All jokes aside, been watching you guys since earlier this year. I love the content you guys provide. Never stop. That's from Night, Night Dare. Dyer. Uh, I know uh, the unedited grilling yesterday. Great job, Myron. Fresh Fit is one giant step closer to mainstream media. Keep leaning from the front, gentlemen. That's from DL Saint. Shout out to you, my friend. I really want to know podcast, so go subscribe. Mine is the Grinch who stole three or four's Christmas, and Chris is the dog. Okay. Wait, MDZ. Fresh. <laughs> yeah, Chris wanted to correct that so bad. Uh, shout out to <laughs> Uncle DL Saint. Subscribe, great channel. Shout out to him. Respectfully, we are disrespectful. Respectfully, okay, NL bad guy. And then these are the last four here. Fresh, is there a topic you've ever ranted as hard as Myron does? Y'all, what the people need since I found you guys, I've grown my business and now uh, make more passive income than I did in my job. That's what we're here for, bro. Yeah. Like I told y'all before, man, this Go podcast back. is to inspire you and help you guys grow to become the best versions of yourselves so you guys don't get finessed, okay? Maybe Instagram or like... Um cars but i don't really go, go on rants like that bro uh the brain yo my fellow men please allow me to join y'all on a podcast all right uh 392q says myron aka the wall because you aren't gonna let no woman let the best slide past you 100 yeah i mean i'll be honest with y'all guys I i've i've lost a lot of girls for like just not wanting to to bend or fold to their fuckery like and they were bad too but it is what it is man like i would uh, like and, and and honestly here's the thing the mindset that has lost me a lot of girls has also got me a lot of girls because I don't let women control me and I don't let women ever take frame. Like, I, I just can't do that shit. Like, I, it's, yeah, I, I just, it's, it is what it is, bro. See, I'm a little different. <laughs> I'll play the part and yeah, you, you got a frame right now. <laughs> I was gonna smash him like, okay, cool. I got what I wanted. Yeah. But it's funny, bro. You could play it how you want, but. Yeah, you know. I, I just have a low, I just have a very, very low tolerance for female disrespect. Like, I, 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 I just come from a different, you guys got to remember, I come from a Muslim back background. I come from an Islamic household. Like uh, my mom always respected my father. Like I come from a background where women are obedient and respect their men. Like this whole fucking clown world bullshit where girls disrespect men or whatever. It's it's a very foreign concept to me and I dislike it. So when girls try that fuckery on me, I'm very quick to say, don't talk to me like that. Or or I just be like, get the fuck out of here. Like I have very, very low patience for fuckery from women, bro. Yeah. And if you don't wipe her up, then you can't really get, get like finesse. Yeah. So, but I mean, if you want to get the most slays though, you got to. You got to be able to balance it a bit. You know what I mean? Uh, that guy in the video won't be able to protect her physically anyway. That's facts. He a pussy. And then Joshua Pete goes, Fresh, what breed of pug are your parents? <laughs> That's funny, man. Ah, oh, man. Uh, 
uh, okay. And then the last three here, a Myron ever thought of a fed it fresh and fit version where you go over the criminal cases of the girls on the show, starting with Xena and Icy. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. I, went, I made 2 million in a month. That's from Lil Durk. Lil Durk. Shout out to you, Lil Durk. I appreciate you. And then, Hey Myron, you mentioned some law Burfords. Oh, I didn't catch what you, that means, if you'd be so kind as to say one more time. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Brifold's law. Yeah. Like uh, Brifold's law is basically that uh, women only love you under the context that you provide value. I mean, and that's that's in all. If you look at the animal kingdom in general, it's not just female human beings. It's females in every every almost every walk of life in the animal kingdom. Like if the guy is no longer able to provide security and protection, he gets killed off. Yeah. Like I mean, you look at a lion, right? When a new male lion comes in and uh, attacks the leader of that pride, and if he uh, either kills him or he makes him run away. What does that guy do? He kills the cubs, and then he, uh, and then the women immediately go into heat, and then he has sex with them, and he creates his own offspring. This is the animal kingdom. Like it, it's raw or for real. You know what I mean? It happens in human, human, uh, in human nature as well. A yeah. girl's with a guy that she doesn't really respect. What does she do? She goes fucks another guy because her man's a fucking bitch. It's it's just life. It's right? a cold world, man. It's yeah. a cold world. That's what, who said that. We're all animals at the end of the day. Future, right? Yeah, future day. said that. Yeah. What do you say? It's a cold world. Oh, I don't, I don't know. We live in an evil, evil world. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, yeah. he did say that in an interview. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Chris. guys, like the video. Six thousand plus y'all in here. Um, cool. I think we got the some lovely ladies in the house. Yeah, they're here now. They're here now. All right, cool. Uh, guys, so we're gonna be right back with Fresh and Fit after hours. Um, call it Chris. Eight thirty right now. Uh, nine thirty. Nine thirty. All right. So in about an hour, guys, we'll be live with some girls. We love y'all, guys. Share this video with a friend that's in a relationship with a girl that's. You know, fucking maybe she's acting like a 304. She's not respecting him. Whatever it may be, show this video to a guy. Because honestly, a lot of you guys that are watching right now either have a friend or fuck it. Maybe you're in a relationship right now. It could be you. Where a girl is literally treating you like shit and your dumbass is sitting there tolerating it because you want to get sex. Guys, it ain't that serious, man. Kick that bitch out and go masturbate, nigga. I don't care. You have a, you have a, <laughs> you have a pass from me <laughs> to go ahead and rub one out and get rid of your girl if she's disrespecting you, bro. Because I'm telling y'all right now, being with a chick that doesn't respect you is a miserable fucking existence it really is bro like all sex is not created equal bro you need a girl to truly love and mind respect you to get the best treatment out of them and if she doesn't kick her to the curb get your fucking value up and go get another girl man trust me you're better off doing that shit you can do better kings you can do better kings all right guys we'll catch you guys back here in less than an hour peace peace I ran, I ran so far.